Today's daily dose of math is an example of deriving the equation of a step function, otherwise known as the greatest integer function, when you have the graph. So what I'm missing here is the graph, but I have a new app for my phone that is synced to the whiteboard, and I should be able to select an appropriate step function graph. There, okay, that's a good one. Now, I also have the wardrobe button. I need a better shirt. There, okay, yeah, that works good. This is a great app. Okay, so what we have to do first in this process is choose a closed circle that is close to the y-axis. I'm choosing this one and find its coordinates. So this closed circle would have the coordinates 0 0.5 negative 0 0.5. Therefore, h is 0 0.5 and k is negative 0 0.5. Well, we're halfway there. Now I need to find my b. We know that the absolute value of b is equal to one over the length of the steps. These steps are half a unit in length, 0.5 in length. And I also need to know the sine of B. These steps have a closed circle on the left. That means that B is positive. So B is equal to positive one over 0.5, but that's not very well simplified. 1 divided by 0.5 is 2, so b equals positive 2. The absolute value of a is equal to the height of the steps. The height of the steps is 1, 1 unit in height, so therefore a is equal to plus or minus 1. I need to know whether it's positive or negative, and for that I need to use the fact that a, B, the product of A and B, gives me the slope of the imaginary line that goes through all the closed circles. I can see that that slope would be positive, so therefore the product of A and B has to be positive. Since B is positive too, A has to also be positive. Therefore, A equals positive 1. And I have all my parameters. I can write out my equation. A is 1, B is 2, H is 0.5, and K is negative 0.5. Of course, when we write this equation, we don't have to show this one. So that is an example of deriving the equation of a step function from a graph, which we can do because we understand these key facts about the parameters. And there's enough clues on the graph to tell us what we need. That is today's Daily Dose of Math. Please like, subscribe, and share.